Hi and welcome to Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today we'll be playing with the backup of Home Assistant and moving our files somewhere locally. We'll start in 10 seconds. As always, before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much for all of your support. And also thanks to anybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you. And now let's get started with today's video. Synology has built-in backup option called Snapshots. It allows you to make snapshot from your system and it can be complete or full snapshot or snapshot of the components or add-ons. A lot of files or directories can be included or excluded. So the question is not what tool should you use to create snapshot, of course if you are running any version that supports supervised mode, but the question is what to do with all the backups. I know that there are a lot of tools, for example, you can move your files to Dropbox or Google Drive, but what's the point of having separate, private cloud for smart home and then publish all of your files, no matter if you're there encrypted or not, to the cloud? I don't see point there. So what we'll be doing today, we'll be creating automation inside Home Assistant on where to create a backup. We'll be configuring Samba backup add-on. This is add-on that you will not normally find in the list of add-ons. And we'll be configuring it to make a backup on a date when we want to make it. And then to keep specific amount of backups locally, meaning inside our home assistant or inside our supervised environment. But also to keep a larger amount of all the snapshots somewhere safe, but private. Okay. For this, you can use any Samba share. So if you have Raspberry Pi or Linux machine, Linux server, whatever you have, you can use it to push your backups there. But since I'm using Synology, the most natural way for me would be to move them to my Synology. There are only three steps here, but the first step for me will be to create a Samba share that will be accessible by Home Assistant, where my backups will be kept. So let's start with that. Let's go to Control Panel, Shared Folder, and I only have one folder here, so I'll create a new one. It will be called HA Backup for Home Assistant Backup. I will disable Recycle Bin, but it's all up to you. You can leave the Recycle Bin if you want. Next. I will not be encrypting the shared folder. I will not enable data checksum for advanced data integrity. And also I will not be enabling shared folder quota. But those are the options that you have. And this is it. New HA-backup for Home Assistant backup folder. No description, what you want. Apply. We now have option to define rights or who has access to it and who doesn't. But I will do it in a second step because I will create additional user that will be used only for backups. Let's go to users, create, name will be HA back up, description will be user that can access backup folder. Email will be blank and password will be. I will disallow the user to change account. It will be left in a users group and I will give it read write access to HA backup folder. Also, I will allow it a shared folder or NSYNC just in case in future I change the way this user behaves or accesses Home Assistant or from Home Assistant my shared folder. And this should be it. The next step for us is to go to Home Assistant and in add-ons add the repository for this Samba backup tool. In order for us to add it to Home Assistant, 
we have to copy this URL. Copy it. Inside Home Assistant, go to Supervisor, Add-on Store, three dots, Repositories, and add this repository. Close. And here now we have Tom's Home Assistant add-ons with only one add-on for now, but hopefully Tom will make some more add-ons in future. Click on Samba Backup and let's install it. Before we start it, let's go to Configuration and let's configure our Samba Backup. First things first, we have to type in the IP address of the device where we have Samba Share located. In my case, this will be my recording Synology. Here we have to type in the name of the Samba Share and in my case it is HA Backup. If you remember, this was the shared folder we created inside Synology and we will be using that folder to save our backups. The next option you have is to specify target directory, but I will not be using it. Why and when can you use it? For example, if you have one, only one Samba Share where you keep access to everything, you can create subfolder and here you would type the name of the subfolder where you want your backups to be located. As I said, I will not be using that one. We have to provide username and this is the username we just created. Or if, for example, you already have username for the Synology DSM integration, you can use that username, but remember to give this user permission for read write of the Samba folder. This is HA backup. That's the name of the user I created. Password is The next two options, keep local and keep remote, allow us to specify how many local and remote copies of the backup or snapshots we want to keep. So if I would type here 5 and 10, it means that I will only have 5 latest snapshots and remotely I will be keeping 10 of them. For my recording setup, I think it will be enough to keep 3 local copies and I will be keeping 20 remote copies. The next two options, trigger time and trigger days, allow you to specify at what time and on what days the backup will run. By default, it will run every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, at midnight. I will change this to manual. If you want it to run only one day a week, you can specify here time, for example, 4 a.m. only on Wednesdays. And as I said, then it will run at 4 a.m. only on Wednesdays. But we will remove that and type here manual. This gives instructions to the add-on not to run this backup ever by itself automatically because we will do automation inside Home Assistant, because that's the place where we keep all our automations. Two additional lines allow you to specify if you want to exclude some add-ons or exclude some folders. For example, you can exclude backup of the Samba backup add-on, or in folders, you can exclude backup of the SSL folder or whatever other folder you want to exclude. But I will be leaving them as is. The one option that we can add that is not listed here, but you can find in the documentation. And of course, the link to the documentation and repository will be as always in the description of the video. This one will be backup name. Backup name allows us to specify how we want the backup to be called or how we want the backup name to look. I'll be pasting a default text. Let me open this. Let me explain. Type will substitute what type of the snapshot this is. Is it partial or full? So it will be either full snapshot or partial snapshot. Version will be pulling the current version of Home Assistant. So 
full snapshot 2021.6.2. And the date, of course, is the date and time of the snapshot itself. So we are done, we can press save. And as I said, if you want to learn more or see what other options are available, I'll be posting a link to documentation. Here you can see the description of every variable you can use, but also some additional that we haven't talked about. For example, compatibility mode, skip check or log level. Also, at the bottom of this file, you will find two automations or one automation and two service calls. We will be using this automation later on inside Home Assistant. Now let's go to Info and let's press Start. As you can see, this automation or this add-on doesn't have option to pin it on the left side because it doesn't have web interface for configuration. Maybe that's a hint for author to add. Let's go to Log. And the Samba Backup add-on is up and running with the following configuration. This is the host name, name of the folder, target directory we are not using, keeping three snapshots locally and 20 remotely. Trigger time is manual. And now we have to fix that manual part. So let's do that. Let's go to configuration, automations, add automation, Start with empty automation. We will create two automations. One automation will be used to trigger the backup itself. And the other automation will be used to restore state of the sensor after Home Assistant restarts. So let's start with the HA backup. Trigger will be time. At time can, for example, be 3 a.m. I will be adding a condition. As I said, I only want to make one backup a week. So the condition will also be time. And I will do a backup every Saturday. This means that it will be triggered on 3 a.m. But the only condition we apply here is Saturday. For the action, we'll be calling service. STD Home Assistant Supervisor, write data to add-on STDM. Add-on will be selecting Samba Backup, edit in YAML. And here we just have to add one additional line with the input trigger. Let's just format. So the YAML should look like service sio.addon underscore stdin data is addon the name of the addon and input equals trigger edit in visual and this is how it looks in a visual let's save it and now we have created automation for this since i do not want to wait until the backup has started i will manually start it just so we can have one backup available inside Home Assistant and also inside Synology. Let me quickly do that. Configuration, automations, backup, run. If we now go to supervisor, Samba backup, log, we will see that the backup is running and it has created or it is currently creating snapshot that will be called full because we are doing full snapshot version of my home assistant and the date and time when I started the backup process. This time by hand. The next time it will be created automatically. Let's go back to configuration, automations and let's add one additional automation. We will call this Samba Backup Sensor Restore. Because of how Home Assistant works, we will lose the attributes for our backup sensor when Home Assistant restarts. 
and that's why we want to run this automation on each Home Assistant restart. So the trigger will be Home Assistant restart. In Actions, once again we'll be calling Service, STD, I N. Let's select Samba Backup, Edit YAML, and here input will be Restore Sensor. Service has IO add on underscore stdin data add on name of the add on and input restore sensor. Let's save this. So, pretty much we are done now with the process. I will leave my home assistant to do snapshot so we can check inside the Synology if it has been successfully copied or not. But before we do that, let's go to fun stuff. Three dots, edit dashboard, add card, select entity, Samba backup, and let's save it. As you can see, it is currently in the state running. You can see here the states, it was idle, running, and of course it has two additional states, I think two, maybe more. Two of them are successful and failed. So you can capture those uh, attributes or states of the trigger and get notification if, for example, your backup has failed. I will not be covering that, that's all up to you if you want to implement it or not. If we look at attributes, you can see that we currently have zero local backups, zero remote backups, total successful backups zero, total backups failed, and the last backup is never. As you can see, the state is succeeded. We have three because previously, yes, I already did have backups here. Let's close this. Let's go to Supervisor. Let's go to Snapshots. And you can see that we now have a new snapshot here. But let's check Synology. In Synology, let's open File Station. Let's go to HA Backup. And voila! we have first remote successful backup. And this is it. You of course have multiple options here to play with. For example, you can create one automation to make one full snapshot every week, once a week. But then you can, for example, do various other automations to do, I don't know, core backup on Mondays, ZigBee MQTT backup, ZigBee MQTT add-on backup on Tuesdays, VS Code and ESP Home on Wednesday, etc. So it's all up to you. Of course, as I said, you can make notifications if you receive failed or failure during your backup, you can get notified so that you know to check what's going on inside your system and also to fix it and run it by hand. And yes, you can run this by hand. And the command for running it by hand is the same that we used in a Home Assistant automation. Let me show you quickly. Let's go to Developer Tools, Services, STDI, DIN. Let's select Home Assistant Supervisor, write data to add on. Let's select here Samba Backup, go to YAML mode, input. Trigger. Let's press call service. Let's go to supervisor, Samba backup, logs, and you can see that the new backup has started and this one we did start by hand. And this is it for this home assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up because it not just means a lot to me and it really does mean a lot but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any previous video I did, you can always find me on the Discord server and the link to Discord server is down in the description of the video. But also feel free to leave comment down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates and streams too. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, 
bye bye and have fun.